hey what's up so i'm gonna show you how we can combine multiple adapters into the same slice but to create a, like a good example i need to change my api so json place holder only gives us one entity i think yeah one entity per endpoint or per request but i think it makes much more sense when we have like multiple uh, entities or maybe a comment then an array of maybe tags or array of likes stuff like that maybe there we can extract all of that into three three entity adapters one for comments one for likes one for tags so but i will use a different thing um, i know it's a shameless plug but i i also i created this tool so it's called polux i'll put a link in the description if you are interested you you will define your models then you will generate them and this will gives you a restful api just built on top of json placeholder just like the sorry built on top json server just like the json placeholder api so i will create a comments model and this will have an id and i think it's have also parag i'll add paragraphs i think that's the only two things we need right that's the only two things we used the id and the body i will change this to be body and that's it so i'll get another one called let's say tags yeah and an id and um, no idea what to do maybe um, edge or type job type yeah job type whatever and then i would get a third model called likes and i'll give it an id then yeah, i think uh, three doesn't matter anything but now we have three models we can create relations with them so i will have tags and likes and now each comment have an array of tags and likes now i can click this star this will create this or this will download this zip file which contains a restful api so let me extract it uh, extract it and run it so it's in my downloads so i will unzip scroll like this So I have one in my desktop. Let me go there. Recursive force, Polux API. Now oh, let me go to downloads and unzip it again. So let's go to desktop. So this is actually a shortcut. This is back. I can go back and forth. It's really nice. So now I have it. So let's go to Polux. Sorry, let's go to desktop, then Polux API. If you type ls, you will see some readme. This is the db.json. So this contains our data. It's, it's like a relation of that data. Just not, yeah, just type npm install. In the readme, you have a lot of uh, like steps on how we can run that or maybe do anything with it. Now npm run dev. This will give us these three endpoints. So let's go and check out the comments. As you can see, I have a comments and a ref comments. They are ten. Each one have an ID and a body and an array of tags and an array of likes. So this is a much more realistic, I think, endpoint. So let's let's use that here. And by the way, this supports everything. I can go by ID for the comments out of the box. I can patch it, delete it, update it, uh, put, I, I added this by mistake. As you can see, I can patch, update, delete. I can uh, paginate, I can query parent. This supports a lot of stuff. But yeah, enough about this. Let's just use it. Uh, 
like this. And this will be also like this. And this will be like this. So let's just make sure that this works without breaking. Oops, now our server API has the same port number as our front end app. So it gets rewritten. So this is actually our the RESTful API that uh, got generated by Pollux. So we need to fix that. And to fix it, so open the package dot sorry the the package to JSON that have been generated and just to change or I think yeah just change the port number here so so dash dash port equal 3001 so npm run dev this will work on this port now so refresh should still work I think, believe but yeah the, the IDs are UUIDs and we will have an error that the ID prop is of type string but should be of type a number we should change that to string and now we should not have any error and still it works but this oh I can delete actually as you can see this is from my local host so I'm deleted everything and this now return the patch to its original like syndic request and all of that save and it should work it's laggy for some reason it's not working anymore Yeah, because I deleted. Yes, that's actually one of the things in Pollux. It will delete actually the data. So let's do that again. I'm sorry. So let's go desktop now. Remove recursive false. So let's go to downloads. Now unzip it like we just do. Then go back. There, then Polux API and PM stored. So yeah, I think uh, yeah maybe that's a long setup for this video, but I hope you are uh, okay with it. So now npm run, or we need actually to update the port number, right? So insert port npm run dev. And this sh and that should be it. We should have them again now. So delete and remember this will actually delete it. So and this will actually pass patch it. So if I refresh again, it will be patched. Oh, it won't. So maybe that's a bug. Yeah, I think that's a bug I need to fix. But at least it's working uh, in this way. So. What we need to do is to create multiple slices. So as you can see now, if you go to our Redux state, we have our entities and each one of them containing, come on, open, containing the ID and the body and the tags array and the likes array. We don't, like, we don't want that. We want each one of them containing its own slice. So uh, if you need this case, this is how you can combine multiple entity adapters into the same slice. So this is our comments adapter. So, and this will be our like likes adapter. This will be our tags adapter. And they all use the ID, right? And this should be likes or like singular. This should be tag. And in our fetch comments, when we patch, when we get the data to here and then you sit all, I want just, 
pass it the payload. I think I will map the data before that. So const, sorry here. So so const data will be equal to the JSON that have been returned uh, and just return it. But before that, I think we need to map it. So this will be an array. I will just map it to the to only having like the IDs the ID and the body so it will be an array of ID and body so like this I will only put in my state the ID and the body for the comments I would put the tags and the likes so let's go to raw as you can see now we have just an array of ID and the body we don't have the tags and the likes inside the state but what I need to do I need to extract them the tags and the likes and put them inside a a different adapter like this or use them inside a different adapter so what I will be doing is the following so for each so yeah so actions sorry tags will be equal to data dot map or to do to reduce sorry yeah I think that will make much more sense here so this is the previous this is the current and by default to be an array I will just return the previous, then current dot tags, and I will do the same for the likes, but I will return likes. Now, if I console log, I let me actually do something like comments will be equal to this and return the comments and I will do this trick that I showed you before so like this and so let's now refresh as you can see we have the likes and the tags and the comments the comments each one of them is an object with ID and a body but I think I wrote the reduce function incorrectly as you can see, we should have uh, an array, not an array of arrays, just an array of objects. So these, all of these should be on the same level. Uh, I think a quick fix, I'm pretty sure you can write this in a better way. Just use flat. And that should be it. As you can see, we have the 90 tags and the 90 likes. They should be 100, but remember we deleted one. So that's they are. Now we need to add the initial state for each adapter inside our comments initial state. Combine them here. So what I will do, I will have likes will be equal to likes dot adapter likes adapter dot get initial state, and I will have tags will be equal to tags adapter dot get initial state. So let's now refresh, go to our Redux and see our comments state. As you can see, we have our IDs, our entities, then the likes and the tags containing IDs and entities again. So that's a step forward. So now we need to put that data we extracted here as an entities, as a normalized state inside our nested adapters state. It's a little bit uh, maybe confusing. But uh, we can't, maybe you can do th two things. Maybe, as you can see, I'm re only retaining the comments. Maybe you can retain like three things comments, tags, and likes. And inside your uh, comments fetch fulfilled, you will use the three like this. So let's do it. So this will be dot comments, this will be dot tags, this will be dot likes. And what we'll use, this will be the tags adapter to sit all, but we won't pass it the state, we will pass it state dot likes, uh, tags, sorry. So go and create the normalized state inside the tags property in our state. And this will be the likes adapter dot sit all dot likes. And of course, we need to change these to, not, to retain comments and likes and tags
now uh, it should work as you can see we have our IDs our entities this, these are the comments and our likes we have also the IDs of the likes and the entities that are the likes so you can go raw and as you can see we have these are the entities these are the comments state let me maximize this so these are the comments these are the likes and as you can see our likes used to have suffix and id and let's see the tags the tags should have a id and a job type yeah just but i think these things are doable and easy but the tricky part how to update a nested adapter state inside an adapter state i think that's the tricky part and I will just show it to you. I think the rest can be easily figured out by you. If you understood everything that I did here, I think after I showed you that, everything will be easier. So let's just create a, like, you think about it for a second. We can create like, um, like an extra reducer to do that. For example, we will say update likes. or remove likes this will be a function like this or this syntax do whatever you want I will do this so this will be the state this will be this state here okay and the second one I won't it won't accept a payload but it can be I will just remove every likes we have so what I will do I will call a function from the likes at data dot remove all but I won't pass, you need to pass the state. The second argument, if you are using maybe remove one or anything, it will be the same things we used uh, everywhere, like the ID, the ID and the changes. This will stay the same, but the only thing will change when you are trying to update a nested adapter state is you will pass to it that state for that adapter or that property in the our state. So this would be to likes. And this export that. And let's go to our comments and import it here. So this is the remove likes. And let's have, so we can actually do this. This is, will be like an empty parent. And of course, this needs to be changed inside a parentheses. And here, let's have a button, our suit button. So do like this color uh, red or yellow size G. It's complaining about something. No idea what it is. Yeah, I think that. Sorry, that's from prettier. Delete delete all likes so this will be very interesting so as you can see these are our likes you'll see an action here sorry we should uh, <laughs> like add on a click this enough this will be equal to a function that this patch our remove likes reducer our action that will end up calling a reducer okay refresh so these are the remove likes action and as you can see with no payload so our state will have the tags they still exist but the likes are empty so that's something interesting i think let's try now to remove by one from the tags so let's go to our slice and create remove tag by id like a different example state now payload this will be i will rename it to tag id i already copied this one so oops. let's have it here so i will use the tags adapter dot remove one 
and this accepts the state so we need to give it the property that holds that adapter the tags adapter which is tags in our state then you need to give it the key the unique key so it will be the tag id and let's go and use that here so let me define another button we remove tag by id and this would be like the of course we need to export that remove tag by id like this and this will be remove tag by id pass it this hard coded id this will be uh i think they are blue yeah So let me remove everything here. So this is our state. So we have nine tags, okay. So remove by ID. So we remove this one, this ID. So as you can see now, we should have it, which is nice. I think should have more than that right maybe there's a bug so let me just console log that tags oh yeah i know i know so yeah we have like a lot of tags but most of them have the same id so they are duplicated in many comments so that's why we only because we are using the id as a unique key so that's why this fails or this only stores the unique tags but uh, i don't think that's matter but this is how you can do this kind of stuff maybe i think this video is very long but uh, in the next video i will you show you how we can use selectors to select nested data nested data from uh, adapters like this so yeah i think this is uh, very interesting and yeah uh, bye